Hey guys, so before I start working on another My Pokemon video, I wanted to make something to fill in the gap between releases. And after visiting the Jello Apocalypse channel, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Today, I'll be reviewing every Pokemon Sun and Moon character in 10 words or less. And by every character, I mean any character that played a part in the story of any of the four Sun and Moon games. So no next draw your youngster Jimmy. Each character will receive a score out of 10, either positive or negative. A positive score measures the genuine enjoyment of a character, while a negative score measures the ironic enjoyment. The closer a character is to zero, the worse it is. And with all that being said, let's go through every Sun and Moon character in 10 words or less. Don't worry. Be happy. Repeat for 30 hours. He is the sexiest man alive. Wingard closes the window. He opens a luchador. Easily the most developed character in these games. Is our mom Catwoman? Or Meowth Woman? Did anyone else think he was a girl? You seem familiar. Just can't put my finger on it. He must get his fashion sense from Kukui. Press A to pound. God, I can't say that with a straight face. I have a red Gyarados. Hold my beer. No one liked the Festival Plaza. The literal embodiment of fan service. Never use the Dream Reader? She means nothing to you. Game Freak, you're not fooling anyone. Miraculous, simply the best. Too spooky for you. It's the Meme King himself. It's your boy, Guzma. I think you're crazy. Just the absolute worst. A beautiful cinnamon roll, too good for this world. Tall Nerd inexplicably becomes member of the Elite Four. Hilarious personality and interesting backstory connected to Looker. Haven't you noticed that I'm a star? Hey, look, listen, Roto. That girl is poison. Basically the cause of the game's conflict. I'm sorry, who are you again? Don't worry, guys. I'll make a trial next game. Don't you dare take the name of Alola in vain. What? You think Colrus was a wasted character? I disagree! Other than playing golf, I know nothing about her. You guys had one job. These two have some of the best interactions. Insert obligatory Sinner remake joke here. So what's stopping him from pressing the button again? Wait, was he gonna kill Lily? You monster! Leader of a criminal organization beaten by a 10 year old. Shout out to all the 90s kids here! You were champion for like 30 minutes. Get over yourself. Wait, multiple timelines? Multiple lookers? I think he's the doctor. This means we get the battle frontier, right? Necrozma has stolen Alola's light. This is fine. And that was every Sun and Moon character reviewed in 10 words or less. So now you may be wondering, with a list of well over 30 characters, what my favorite and least favorite characters are. Don't worry, because I've got you covered with my top 3 and bottom 3 Sun and Moon characters. However, I will be doing things a bit different. Instead of just listing why I like or dislike a character, I'm going to talk about a scene that I think summarizes why I enjoy or despise a certain character. Also, if you want to take a look at the complete list of characters from best to worst, there will be a Google document in the description below. So anyway guys, let's begin. Top 3, number 3, Kukui. The scene that I think best describes Kukui is when he shows you the location of the Alola League on Mount Hukalani. In this scene, you see how passionate Kukui is about battle, so much so that he built a Pokemon League to test the strength of the trainers in Alola. He is just an enjoyable character all around. Top 3, number 2, Luzamine. The scene that summarizes my feelings toward Luzamine is the scene in Neil Hiego's Ultra Space where you encounter Merge Luzamine. Her selfish intentions are amplified by Neil Hiego, and she completely disregards her daughter. After you battle her, Lily steps in and frees Luzamine from Neil Hiego's grasp, and it's at this point that she begins to return to her true self. She was easily the best Pokemon antagonist. Top 3, Number 1, Lily. When Lily releases Nebby in Pokemon Sun and Moon is the scene that makes Lily my favorite character. This scene is the close of Lily's story, and shows how much she's grown since the beginning. This scene is one of my personal favorites and nearly brought me to tears upon my first viewing. Bottom 3, Number 3, Sophocles. The scene that accurately describes Sophocles is when you first meet him at the observatory. 
The way he speaks makes him seem like he doesn't really want to be a captain, and he even tries to cut out the middleman and call the totem book one immediately. He comes off as an annoying kid who just doesn't want to do his job. Bottom 3, number 2, Rotom. If there is any scene that perfectly describes Rotom, it's this one. Rotom talks far too frequently in these games, and it's rather annoying. It's even worse in the Ultra games. He constantly insists on saving or healing when it is not necessary. The Rotom Dex was a good idea in concept, but it just didn't pan out. Bottom 3, number 1, the Ultra Recon Squad. The scene that describes how I feel about the Ultra Recon Squad is after Luzumin goes into Ultra Megapolis. In this scene, the Ultra Recon Squad realizes that Luzumin was using them so that she could capture Necrozma for herself. And here is my problem with them. They come off as incompetent. They fail to accomplish any of their goals and are even tricked by Luzmin and repeatedly beaten by the player. They had nothing more than lore about Necrozma. Alright guys, so that was every Pokemon Sun and Moon character reviewed in 10 words or less, as well as my top 3 and bottom 3 characters. Be sure to check out the Jell Apocalypse channel because that is where I got this idea from, and also tell me your 10 word reviews in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, bye.